Hello, I'm on Facts of Mars. Michael Moore has gone, gone completely unhinged. May I see my... See my, uh... Post about New York Times and their yellow journalism. Stunning bombshell right now from New York Times. Trump campaign chair, campaign officials and Trump associates made repeated contacts and calls with Russian intelligence during the year leading up to the election. It doesn't... It's all what we all suspected. If we don't take a rocket... doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's going on. Trump concluding... colluding with the Russians to throw the election to him. Actually, a Times article talks about... <coughs> The so-called election hacking. And then Michael Flynn who resigned. We don't want to hear you Dems huff and puff and grandstand take symbolic actions. If I demand that you... We demand that the call all actions be taken by an illegitimately elected government until this matter is resolved. Unbelievable. Uh, he's basically calling for a coup d'etat. American Attorney General J. Beauregard Sessions must immediately appoint a special prosecutor to investigate these potentially treasonous acts. So-called President Trump could save this country a lot of time, money, and pain by stepping down tonight. No, you're the one who's causing the pain. It's people like you, you scumbag. Somehow our judicial system has to find a way to make restitution to this country. Huh? Pence can't be president as he too was elected under the same fraud. Current has to rule either that the president is winner of the popular vote or the election must be held over. Uh, no, they don't. Because, uh, he doesn't have to win the, Repu the popular vote. Republicans, the beneficiaries of this treason, cannot be allowed to hold on to the power by default. It turns out there's a traitor in the White House. The judicial branch must find a fair, peaceful way to undo and then redo the election in 2016. He's insane. Michael Moore is clearly insane. I didn't read the first uh, number one here very well, so I'm going to do this again. I and tens of millions of Americans demand that the weak and spineless Democrats bring Congress to a halt until investigative hearings are held and impeachment charges are filed. We don't want to hear you Dems huff and puff about grandstand and grandstand and take symbolic actions. We demand that you hold all actions being taken by an illegitimately elected government until this matter is resolved. So that's number one reread. Uh where are your uh, tens of millions of the people. We have the paid George Soros protesters. But where are your tens of millions of people demanding this? Also, if Trump can keep the Republicans in line behind him, you don't have to stand a chance. Now, if I honestly thought that Donald Trump was in bed with the Russians, I would be against him like that. But intellectually, this is just out outrageous. This is outrageously stupid. As I pointed out in the New York Times Post, it is yellow journalism for them to sit there and say that the Russians stole the election for Trump. It's yellow journalism. 
It's outrageously dishonest. There's no evidence at all that I have seen. I have not seen any evidence whatsoever. And Donald Trump, if he wants to, he's president now. He can talk to the Russians anytime he wants to. So, you, Mr. Moore, can get bent. In fact, I'm just going to say it. Pardon my language, but I'm sick and tired of this. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck the horse you rode in on. Just go away. I'm on facts, Mars. You are a delusional, psychopathic nutcase. Get out of Get out of this country if you don't like it, Mr. Michael Moore. Get out. All right, thanks, Mars. Thanks for watching.